The Multimodal Aid for Interface Design, or MADE, was developed by Smart Information Flow Technologies under a Small Business Innovation Research Grant from NASA's Johnson Space Center. Under the trying circumstances of space travel, NASA astronauts must often perform complex procedures shown on displays. Yet how well these displays enable task performance is based on human judgment or on costly and time-consuming human-in-the-loop testing. NASA was interested in quantitative evaluation methods for determining how well candidate display sets work with specific procedures, and SIFT responded with MADE. A brief breakdown of the MADE approach looks like this. Given sets of tasks and displays, we can derive sets of information requirements and presentation elements, respectively, where information requirements define what a user needs to know or control for a task, and presentation elements are information conveying elements in a display. Representing both sets in a common quantitative vocabulary, we can apply one or more types of algorithms to compare the degree of fit and produce a mismatch scoring table for later analysis. At the core of MADE's reasoning process is a representation based on information theory that provides this quantitative description to enable computing matches between information requirements and presentation elements. Our representation describes the way in which information is needed using five parameters importance, scope, resolution, bandwidth, and control. Importance is simply the necessity of the information for task success. Scope and resolution are opposing values, where scope describes the range of values for the information type that the user needs or receives simultaneously, and resolution describes the precision of the received information. Bandwidth describes how often the information is or can be updated. Finally, control describes how much the data needs to be or can be manipulated or controlled. Here's an example of using our representation to capture both the information need and to compare it to that provided by a candidate set of displays. Consider a pilot vectoring for a landing approach. Knowing the heading information for the aircraft is clearly important, earning an appropriately high importance score. The remaining CERBIC scores are evaluated according to the behavior of heading information in that task. For example, heading changes widely, but not unpredictably. Thus, it will transition through a wide range of values and earns a comparatively high scope score of 8. Available display candidates, such as a compass rose, are also assigned values using the same parameters. For example, scope is high for a compass rose, but resolution is low because all 360 degrees of heading are displayed, but it is difficult to make precise distinctions with this display element. By contrast, a digital readout, which shows only the single current value of heading, has very high resolution but very low scope. Another display example could be a manipulable dial, which would provide some control capability by allowing a user to dial in a heading setting and then see aircraft heading shift to adopt it. The parameter scores for the task need and the alternate presentations can then be compared mathematically perhaps by taking the absolute value of the parameter differences, to rate each display's compatibility. In this small set, the dial provides the lowest mismatch score, indicating that it does a better job of conveying heading in all the ways it is needed for this task. A quick presentation like this risks giving the impression that these parameter values are assigned just by user judgment. This is not the case. Instead, we have developed a detailed scoring approach based on information theory, validated it over multiple implementation projects, and even implemented a machine learning algorithm to derive these values automatically. The MADE project implemented this approach in a tool for analyzing display design. We implemented and tested on displays and procedures from multiple NASA vehicles, but we now illustrate MADE using a scenario where astronauts must perform an emergency diagnosis within a space shuttle. Success in this scenario required knowing the failure state of a helium valve in the main engine, else an incorrect branch of the procedure could be taken, leading to a dangerous mission abort. MADE can compare two candidate display sets, an older set and an upgraded model developed by NASA. Without MADE, display designers need to use their best judgment, or costly human-in-the-loop testing, to evaluate the effectiveness of the two displays. But MADE can give a quantitative analysis and do it much faster. 
Note that NASA actually ran human-in-the-loop simulation trials of this scenario with trained astronauts and found that the older display yielded almost a 90% failure rate, whereas the new display yielded none due to its inclusion of the failed helium valve information. We can begin our analyses via the MADE prototype, having already loaded data sets corresponding to the procedure steps and the two alternate display sets. First, we will analyze the older MEDS display. After naming our analysis and ensuring we have the correct display set selected, we command MADE to produce a mismatch table comparing the information needs for the procedure steps to the information provided by the MEDS displays. We immediately see that something is wrong. The color-coded cells show information requirements and display element pairings that produce large mismatch scores. In this case, the IRs in red had no matching display elements, resulting in very high mismatch scores, which contribute to the total mismatch value for the whole procedure, seen here. MADE can also graph the mismatch results by the sequence of steps in the procedure. Here we see that mismatch peaks in step 4, where the helium valve information is needed. The graph also illustrates context switches points where attention would have to switch between different display pages or windows to get the required information. Blank spots represent steps without any matching presentation elements. After examining this analysis for the older MEDS display, we now ask MADE to produce a similar analysis for the alternate enhanced display. We can place the mismatch table for the new analysis side by side with the first table for comparison. We immediately see improvements illustrated by the lack of highlighted comparisons. In fact, the new analysis shows no unsatisfied information requirements and substantially reduced mismatch scores. MADE also allows us to place the procedure step graphs side by side, further demonstrating relatively low mismatch scores throughout the procedure steps. Note, though, that the newer display requires additional context switches which may factor into the decision-making process for the designer. An additional feature in MADE allows us to view sample images of the display elements being used. These are simple JPEG files that have been captured and uploaded into the tool, but they serve as a reminder to the designer as to what the display suite is like at this point in a procedure. In short, MADE's analyses allowed us to quantitatively and very systematically analyze a candidate display set, pinpointing how and where the information requirements of a task are either unmet or poorly satisfied. In this scenario, we not only saw that the old display set missed important information requirements for this particular procedure, but we quantitatively measured the impact of poor mismatch, showing places where it mattered and thereby places where displays could be improved to provide better fit. Thanks to MADE, display evaluations can now be put on a quantitative basis and performed much more rapidly than previously possible. Thank you for watching SIF's MADE demonstration video.